Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to prove that a tree with n nodes or n vertices has n minus 1 edges using induction. So for example, if you have a tree with 10 nodes or 10 vertices, then you know for sure that it has 9 edges. And this is one of the important graph theorems in math and computer science. If you need a quick recap on what trees are, a tree is an undirected graph that has to be connected and does not have any cycles. So that also means it does not have any loops or parallel edges. Let's start with the base case. So when n is 1, we have only one vertex. So there are no edges. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And this is true. This statement is true when n is equal to 1. Now let's try n is equal to 2. We draw the graph. We see two vertices with one edge. So 2 nodes minus 1 is 1, and that's true. The formula is true for n is equal to 2. And when n is equal to 3, we also see that there are 3 vertices and there are 2 edges. So the statement is true as well. The next step is the induction hypothesis. And let's do a quick recap on what it is. So we show that the statement is true when n is equal to 1, 2, and 3. But is the statement also true when we have a very large n, let's say a thousand or a million? What the induction hypothesis does is it just says, let's just assume that the statement is true when n is equal to 1, 2, and 3 up until m, right? Let's just assume that the statement is true inside this range. So assume that a tree with m nodes has m minus 1 edges when m is between 1 and n. So notice that m is strictly smaller than n. The third step is the induction step. So what exactly does this step do? Well, in the previous step, we showed that the statement is true within this range, so within this box from 1 to m. The induction step basically just shows that the statement is also true outside this box. So we're showing that this statement is true when we have n nodes, so outside this box. So let's say we have a tree, so just a random tree with n nodes we remove a node with a degree of 1, or the leaf node. So for example, let's say we have this tree, the leaf node would be this one. It does not connect to any more nodes, right? So it's, it's like the last one in the tree. Because this tree does not have any cycles, we know for sure that this node does not have another edge leading back to another node, or else it would form a cycle. So when the tree ends here, or here, or here, the degree of this node is 1, or it has only one edge connected to it. So we remove this node, we remove it, we take it outside of the tree. Before it has n nodes, now it has n minus 1 nodes. So basically we were here, we were at n, right? Now we move back to n minus 1, so we, we move down the ladder and we are inside this box now. So by the induction hypothesis, we know that the statement is true inside the box. So the tree has n minus 1 nodes, so it has n minus 2 edges by the induction hypothesis. Now let's put the node back into the tree. So we put back this node along with the edge connected to it. So we put the node back. This adds an edge to connect the node back to the tree, right? It adds this edge back to it. Now the tree has n nodes with n minus 1 edges. Because before it had n minus 2 and we add one edge back, now it has n minus 1 edge. So now you see that we just proved the statement is true when we have n. So a tree has n nodes, and then we show that it has n minus 1 edges. And since we proved that the statement is true with n vertices or n nodes, the last step is just the conclusion. So based on the proof by induction, it is proof that a tree with n nodes has n minus 1 edges. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please do not forget to hit subscribe.